Oh my god, I just moved. The Keep getting my down. I need to. I need to. I need to get some kind of a system going for these goddamn cables because I'm just moving them all over the damn place. What? Seriously? Well, then what the fuck am I supposed to do? I already did everything. How many more days do I have? Shit. Do I just go back to the dorm again? I guess I just go back to the dorm again until this shit's finished. Oops. Yeah, I guess I'll just go back to the dorm. when the important stuff happens. It's me, I guess. Me I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly. But I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten. But I remember, that day, we... I'm sorry, it's just that, when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Situations today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. Come. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. Isn't that the same voice actor that had what that girl that became Fuka's friend? That like was bullying her and shit? We wish each of you good health, happiness, and prosperity. Pretty sure it is. On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. And nobody claps. <laughs> Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. 
Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Oh, here we go. She's gonna remember! She's remembering! Wow. That's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. Must be tough thinking about her father. I remember. Yes. With my father's death, I lost my purpose in life. Hang on. Wasn't I supposed to? <clears throat> Holy shit, he's not wearing a hat. Okay, he goes senpai. What's up? But now, I have something to live for. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, carrying out my father's will. I am resolved. And without reservation. Promise. I owe it all to my invaluable friends. And we have promised to never lose hope, no matter what tomorrow may bring. That was a loud ass ring. Holy shit. Sunday, <laughs> we made a promise. Let's find him. And that kind of hurt my ears a bit. Yes, I can hardly wait. Everyone, let's go! Let's go! Like how nobody follows him. I was just like, oh, let's go. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, we'll just stay here. Alright. They can go have fun. We'll just keep being here in this fun assembly and whatnot. Yeah. Alright. This is my first time experiencing spring. But this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away. Accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want. What the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. <laughs> My life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. What am I doing? Yeah, why is a robot I crying? Understand Explain that. that. I should be happy. Hey! <laughs> Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what. 
so that I can protect you. Thank you for everything. You must be tired. Please, get some rest. I'll stay right here with you. Soon, all your friends will be here by your side. I will always be by your side. Sure now. Protecting you. All right. So yeah, the whole. I mean, that does end kind of ambiguously. Um. They do address it once the answer comes around. Uh, basically, the main character done died. That's what happened at the end there, he died. Um, I can't remember. I remember reading about it, reading about like the exact reasoning behind the whole thing. From what I remember is just that um, it's like, he, the only reason he was still alive was crap. Well, I can't. Uh, you know, I can't even remember. Some of you probably know. I'll end up looking it up later anyway. But um, it was basically something about he was only alive in order to get to that point when everybody could remember what happened, or he was only alive because um, or like he basically absorbed, like how he absorbed death, or how. I just put death in him. He took all that, like all the dark hour and all that shit back into him when he killed Nyx. And so that slowly just like killed him. I, I think that might have been what I read about. Um, and he just hung on until everybody else could remember or something like that. But it, it was something like that. I didn't even know he died. I thought it was just like, oh, it's over. And now they're going with their lives. And then I ended up reading about it. I was like, oh, what? He died? When? The hell did that happen? But, uh, I mean, I don't really have much to say because all the problems that were in this game, they pretty much fixed the Persona 4, from what I can remember. Like, you know, you can control your party members in Persona 4. Um, the whole, like in this game, how when you get knocked down, you're automatically out of a turn unless you get hit again. They fixed that in Persona 4. Like, you gotta get knocked down and then hit again. So that like, you end up getting stunned or something like that um, by either a critical hit or something you're weak to. So it wasn't just like oh one sh you know like one group attack hitting you that you that one of you was weak to and now one of your characters is screwed. Now they gotta hit you twice with that shit, which was a fantastic addition. Obviously, the ability to control your entire party was an amazing addition because you saw all the problems I had consistently throughout this game when like just one bad thing would go wrong with the main character and that would fuck up everything else and it just ruined my shit so um I'm very happy about that um, so I don't really have anything to say about its problems because they fixed them in Persona 4 uh I mean other than that it's just you know some of the social links are pretty boring but that's when you have you know like 15 or so social links in the game there's gonna be some of them that aren't that people aren't gonna enjoy that's, what's, that's gonna happen you can't control that but did I sit here throughout the entirety of the credits before I can't even remember but it doesn't matter because I was trying to think because I think I left to go get something while the credits were running but whatever you get to watch it again if you want if not, I'm sure you're capable of skipping ahead to see if anything happens afterwards or not. But, just like last time in the credits, I need to go get a goddamn drink.
I just don't know if anything different happens this time around. I don't have a damn clue. Okay, something does happen. So is that that? So they're gonna ask me if I want to save. Yeah. So obviously I just save over the old one because there's no reason to keep that one. Damn, I got 14 levels. And that one in just that the short amount of time that I spent in January. So now I'm done. All right. So now we get to move on to the answer. Um. Obviously I won't start it on this video. But yeah, now we get to move on to the answer. <laughs> 